Hello and welcome to Zabbix Handy Tips. In this video, we'll learn how to deploy a Zabbix instance in AWS in just a few clicks. If we open the Zabbix Cloud Images page, we can see that we have multiple cloud vendors available, as well as different Zabbix components that can be deployed in the cloud. Let's make sure that we have selected AWS as our vendor and let's select the Zabbix Server Cloud image. This will redirect us to the AWS Marketplace where we have to subscribe to this image. Once we have read the terms and conditions, click the Continue to Configuration button. Let's select the region where we wish to deploy our Zabbix instance. I will select Stockholm. Next, we have to select the launch options and the EC2 instance type. Since this will be a demo environment, I will select the small instance type, but you should adjust it as per your requirements. Next, we have to select the virtual private cloud, the subnet that we wish to use, and the security group and a key pair to access our instance over SSH. If you haven't created a security group or generated a key pair, now is the time to do that. Once we have configured everything here, click Launch to deploy your Zabbix image. Let's take a look at the security group that I will be using for this deployment. My demo security group contains three inbound rules. TCP port 22 for SSH connections, port 443 for HTTPS connections, and port 10051 for Zabbix server connections. You're free to add other rules as per your requirements. Let's open our instance in the EC2 management console. Here we can see the public instance IPv4 address as well as the DNS name. These can be used to connect to the instance via SSH and to access the Zabbix web frontend. Let's connect our instance over SSH to obtain our initial username and password. Don't forget to use the key pair that you generated in the configuration step to access the instance over SSH. I will log in as the EC2 user, and as soon as I have logged in, my frontend username and password will be displayed. I will copy and use these to log in into the Zabbix frontend. Lastly, let's open our frontend and log in with the username and password that we obtained in the previous step. We can see that the instance is up and running. There are no error messages in the system information widget, and we have managed to deploy a fully functional Zabbix instance in a very simple fashion by using the AWS Zabbix Cloud image.